Hi and welcome back to the Whole Life Challenge. I'm Luke Jones from HeroMovement.net and this week, or this time, we're looking at the thoracic spine. So the T-spine, the mid-back, an area that often gets a little bit tight, a little bit stiff from our everyday habits. So we're gonna bring a little bit of attention to that area, hopefully free it up a little bit and get things moving right. So we're gonna start off, as always, just by checking in. So how does the mid-back feel today? So I'm just gonna maybe rotate through it a little bit, might bend forward and back. You can breathe deep into this area as well. It's another way to sort of mobilize and check in. So breathing into the belly, into the ribs, into the chest and into that, that thoracic spine might find a little bit of stiffness in there. So there's no right or wrong way to do this. You're just checking in to see how your body feels right now. And then we'll check in again at the end to see if it feels any different. So the first exercise we're gonna start with is just a basic rotation through the thoracic. So you're looking behind you. Again, like, like last week, I'm not gonna give you any cues to start with, just rotate through. See how that feels. And now if we bring a little bit more intention and attention to this movement, I like doing it, keeping the, the glute muscles switched on a little bit, the core on, and then trying to isolate that rotation so it's more mid-back, because we often compensate through the lower back. Um, so just focusing that rotation through the mid-back. So you might find it feels a little bit stiffer. And that isn't necessarily a problem, it just means we're working a little bit more into that area, into the actual restrictions, as opposed to, to almost cheating and then go working around them. So now if we get into that end range, so get to the, the point where the brakes come on, Keep it nice and tall. I'm gonna to take a big deep breath in, fill in the mid back. So inhale, then we'll exhale. And I got significantly more movement with, with that exhale. So we'll repeat that again. So as you can see, I, I went from sort of around here so almost pointing straight behind me. And you might, you might get more movement than that, you might get a little bit less. Um, the important thing is we just notice how our breathing can impact our positioning. And it's, it's quite amazing how much it can actually do that. So we rotate to the other side. Inhale. Exhale. Again, nice big inhale. So that long slow exhale, as well as helping us move into the space we've created, is relaxing our nervous system. It's saying to our body, we're okay, we're safe here, and it makes it a lot easier for us to adopt new positions that we want to, want to adopt. So the last thing with that rotation is can we bring the legs into it a little bit? So I'm gonna step backwards a little bit, and as we rotate, whichever side we rotate to, can we swing that leg out in front as well? So what we're doing here, it looks a bit strange, it feels strange, it might test your balance a little bit. So if you need to use a stick or go by a wall to do this one, that's fine. We won't spend long on it. We're just rotating through and the standing leg, the glute on that leg, and then the, the lat on the opposite side, they're both being activated as we kind of rotate through. And what that does is that, that sling of muscles that's involved in running and walking and lots of functional movement patterns that we do in everyday life. So when we're talking about functional movement, this mobility drill is, is a great one. It's a, if you're a runner or a sprinter, it's a great one to incorporate into your warm-up. Yeah, we switch sides. So just rotating through 
keeping the core tight so we're not rotating too much through the low back, we're keeping the low back safe. And we're not necessarily, we can swing the leg up high, but we don't really necessarily need to. It's just working through that motion. So that's one you can incorporate into your warm up if you like to. So the next one we're gonna work on is, it's another strange looking exercise. Um, it's another one you could potentially bring out on the dance floor. So you're gonna bring your arms out at uh, 90 degrees, just parallel to the floor. And then we're gonna internally rotate with one as we externally rotate with, with the other. So that looks like is the one hand turns over or turns forward, the other hand turns back. And as you do that, we're gonna sort of shift the hips as well a little bit towards the hand that turns forward. We can just move through the shoulders for now then. So we're switching it up. So although this is a strange motion, we start to bring that sort of hip, hip hinge into it. Just nice and slow. Trying to rotate as much as you can. You can look towards the hand as well if you like. It's a strange movement. What we're essentially doing is wringing out that thoracic spine. The rotation of the shoulder blade forward, the one forward, the one back, is sort of wringing out that area, which often holds a lot of tension. So if you imagine you're wringing out a rag, it's bringing fluid into the area and then wringing it out. So we're just getting a lot of nourishment to the thoracic, which is something that we can, we can often do with. So again, just a few more repetitions of that. Just breathing deeply as well into the thoracic as we move through. That can help to free, free that area up. Just take it slow if you need to. Um, again, it's just go at your own pace. There's no, there's no rush with these. I'm just trying to give you as much as I can in the short space of time that we have each day. Um, so feel free to spend a little bit more time, come back to this video uh, in your own time and practice that, practice that again. So we're now gonna move towards some flexion and some extension through, through the thoracic. So we come forward, we're gonna extend. So pushing the, the breastbone forward. And then we're gonna flex. So it's shifting forward and shifting back. So we're trying not to round through the shoulder and bring, bring the head forward. We're looking at just trying to isolate that movement through the thoracic spine as much as you can. So you can put your hands on your legs if you need to. That can help sometimes. And think about bringing your breath into it as well. So as you come forward, you can inhale. Exhale as you go back. Switch, switch things up a little bit now and move from side to side. So this is, is a movement that can sometimes be a little bit tricky when we first start out. It's a bit it's similar to that neck movement that we did in, in yesterday's video. Um, just give it, give it your best shot and feel free to slow it down and practice uh, again in, in your own time. So we're just gonna start in that neutral position and we're gonna look to shift the rib cage from side to side and we might only get a little bit of motion and that's fine. So we're trying to keep the shoulders and the eyes parallel to the horizon. So shift in from side to side. Again, I like to keep my hands sort of around this core and rib area, just as a little reminder to keep those areas switched on and support the spine a little bit. Shift in from side to side, you might notice that you feel a little bit more restricted one side compared to the other. Things might be a little bit clicky, and that's okay. As long as there's no pain, then, then that's usually, usually okay. So we'll now 
we'll try combining those movements. This one is, is tricky, um, so just take your time with it. We're gonna shift to the side, come forward, shift to the other side, come back. Side, forward, side, back. So again, we can look to make that a bit more of a circular motion. It's another strange one to turn heads at the gym, but it's a, a very effective one for freeing up that thoracic. We'll often spend a lot of time flexing and, and maybe extending a bit and maybe a little bit of rotation, but it's not often we'll get that real circular motion through the thoracic. So we try it to the other side. Shift into the side. Four separate movements to start with. And as we get a little bit more confident, we can start shifting into a bit more of a circular motion. Again, just breathe in throughout. You can breathe into the thoracic to make it a bit more of an intense mobilization. You can also get to the end range of each position and then take a deep breath, like we've done with the other exercises too. So again, that's another one you can kind of practice in your own time if you want to want to take it a little bit further and kind of refine it a little bit. So we're now going to move into a, a final strengthening exercise. For this one, if you have a stick, a broom, um, something like that handy, then that can, that can be useful. So what we're gonna do is, is look to work into strengthening thoracic extension. So we're gonna go into a, a hip hinge position, keeping the core tight. We're gonna shift the hips backwards, have a slight bend at the knee. We're gonna, gonna place, place the broom on, on top of our, our back. You can use a mirror for this as well to, to check, check that everything is, is kind of aligned. And we want that, that stick to be, to be touching all throughout the spine. We don't really want there to be any gaps. We want it to be touching the top of the head, connecting at the mid back and the lower back too. So that might be just your starting position that if you can just hold that neutral spine, you might already find, whoop, I'm losing it a little bit. So you might already find that you're working through your mid back here. What we wanna do, if you can take it a step further, is look to sort of extend, extend through the mid back. This is a very subtle movement that you won't be able to pick up on, on the camera really. But essentially, we're looking to extend, drop the chest bone down. So you can have the hand, hands up to the side, you can have it on the stick. We're looking to kind of drop the chest bone down and squeeze the shoulder blades together and hold that tension there. You can also do it laying on the floor, laying over, a, a pillow or a cushion. So we're, we're, the reason we're using the broom is that a lot of the time when we try to go into thoracic extension, so I'm trying to drop my chest bone down here, a lot of the time we will we'll just revert into extension at the lower back. So when you'll see it in, in yoga quite a lot, I really like practicing yoga and I think it's got a lot of big benefits. But sometimes you'll see in that sort of upwards dog position, there's a lot of pressure through the lumbar spine. Um, the intention is to open up through the, the mid back. What we often see is the force is just dumped into the lower back um, and we, we're then just sort of making problems worse as opposed to improving the, the position in the mid back. Um, we're just kind of getting further into that, that lumbar extension. So just have a practice with that. You can do it for, for time. So holding a, a repetition, 
squeezing those shoulder blades together. Keep squeezing and as well as, as that squeeze, connecting the breath. So breathing deeply into the mid back. So one more rep here. So it's a, it's quite a novel exercise and one where we we don't necessarily see much movement through there. But I notice after doing that one that I feel like there's a lot more space in my chest. I'm able to, to stand upright um, quite quite a bit more easily. And things just feel like my shoulders and my neck feel a little bit more more free to move too. So we finished finished this week's session just checking in again now to see how things feel. So rotating through the thoracic, maybe rolling forward and back, just seeing how things have changed and if they've changed for you. And then you can use that to inform your practice moving forwards. Just a little bit of homework for this time round. We're gonna practice that circular motion whenever you can and also have a play around with that thoracic extension using the stick um, just have a play around with them and, and try and incorporate them maybe into your normal movement practice and maybe have a think about how your thoracic is orientated throughout the day too so during everyday habits like standing in line or sitting in the car are you tending to, to round forward? And can you maybe pull yourself up a little bit and give that T-spine a little bit more space to move around? So just incorporating some of those principles that we talked about in the video into your everyday life where they can actually make a big difference. So thank you for watching. That's about it for this session. Uh, I'll be back next time where we'll cover the extremities, the hands, the wrists, the elbows a little bit and the feet too. So I'll hopefully see you next time round. In the meantime, have a healthy, heroic week.